Okay, we have a uh, 2005 Mazda Tribute, which is actually the same thing as a Ford Escape. And we're just going to do a quick walkthrough of what the Autel MS906, with the latest software as of today, which is Mazda 7.7. .7. Uh, we're going to see what kind of, uh, any kind of active test, special functions, uh, programming ability. We'll read the VIN. Okay, it is, it, this is the V6 3 liter. Uh, you can get the uh, uh, vehicle in uh, four cylinder or V6. Now, in fact, you can see up here vehicle Escape, Tribute, Maverick, Mariner. All the same vehicle. Okay, so before we go into the actual module, let's, let's take a look at the programming. See what's under programming. Okay, first we're going to look at programmable perimeters. Okay, passenger seat weight uh, to re-zero the uh, sensor for the airbag so it can detect whether or not you got a passenger. Exterior lighting, personality, power door locks, security, warning lamps, and chimes. And we'll just click on a couple of these. We'll take a look and see what personality is. Okay, so this is where you can change. So you got headlight, battery, saver, timeout. Okay, right now it's set to 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds and 10 minutes that you can select that from. Heated backlight. Not 100% sure what that is, but you got 15 minutes or 10 minutes that you can select. Um, morning lamps and chimes. You got button press chime language, instrument cluster, uh, not in park chime. All this is instrument cluster stuff. Turn signal warning chime, reverse warning chime, parking brake, oil life. Uh, so if we select that, that's a question mark right now. Okay, so that's you can you can actually select. Wow, all the way up to thirty thousand miles, eighteen months. So on this miles to tribute, I'm assuming the Ford Escape would be the same. You can select anywhere from thirty thousand down to five thousand miles for your oil reminder. Right now it's just a question mark, so I guess it's it's turned off. Um, anyway, those are the options there. Uh, we'll just do security, power door lock inhibit, perimeter alarm. You got not equipped. And here you're going to have either disabled or enabled. Power door locks. Central unlock via key cylinder, enabled, smart lock, equipped, two-stage unlocking module. Exterior lighting, daytime running lamps, not equipped, front fog lamps, equipped, and headlight type. It says complex. You got quad and you got complex for the headlight type. And we'll just go ahead and hit passenger seat reset. Okay, well, I guess it's gonna. We're gonna hit no to that. Do not want to go through a uh, reset. Uh, and then now we're gonna go to programmable module installation. And this is where if you're changing out a module, 
uh, you got the ABS module, instrument cluster module, and the, the GEM, which uh, generic electronic module. And you can change a PCM on these too. Okay, that was programming service. Um, service on these is usually where you go into your like power balance and stuff. So you got fuel. You can do the power balance onboard diagnostics and the RAM uh, keep alive memory, or actually KAM CAM. Um, the one thing that I have noticed that these aftermarket scanners typically don't have that a lot of the that the GDS factory scan tool does is a relative uh, compression test. I don't know if it's just not capable of doing that because maybe the Bluetooth connection or what. If anybody knows why these aftermarket scanners on these Fords, a lot, a, a lot of Fords have the ability to do a uh, relative compression test, which would, which would be absolutely amazing to be able to do on really any car. Uh, easily through the scan tool that would be I mean you could instantly determine if there's a cylinder that's just not uh, not contributing at all to the uh, compression cycle so if anybody knows why these aftermarket scanners are incapable of doing that let me know I'm, I'm just out of curiosity okay so we'll go ahead and hit chassis okay all we got there's braking and then body security and restraints And that was under, what was that, service? Let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to click security. This is where you're going to uh, program your key, uh, remote keyless entry, factory keyless entry code, and the PATS, the uh, passive anti-theft system. This is where you're going to program keys, which is what you got to do. If you change a mo uh, uh, PCM on these Fords, you've got to go in here and you've got to go through a, uh, a PATS. Whatever you call it, reset or program or whatever. That way, the the key is able to start the vehicle. And you know what? We'll go ahead and hit restraints too. Passenger system reset, override cancel. Okay, so now let's get to the uh, the big thing that we like it is we're going to go into diagnosis. What? It, select our individual modules. Okay, we got PCM. We're going to hit first. And there's no special functions. There, are, there is an active test, which is the main thing we're interested in here. And I'm not going to read every one of them. We got two pages here. I'll give you a couple of seconds to uh, go down through and and look at what you can do. Um, of course, you can turn the fuel pump on and off. Uh, fuel pump duty cycle, it looks like. Of course, your EVAP, different EVAP test. Fan. Idle air control. Torque converter control. Shift solenoids. Spark advance. So, you know, you got some, tro some decent troubleshooting uh abilities here uh we'll go to abs and again no special functions but we've got some active test of course your pump motor your uh valves inlet and outlet for all your wheels okay now we'll go to the uh, restraints, active test, and again, this should be the same for a uh, Ford Escape. This is a Mazda Tribute, but the Ford Escape should, should have these same options. I have noticed if I manually go in and manually put in the, the equivalent vehicle, sometimes there's different options that's available. Um, okay, that's what you got under the restraints. Of course, you got your, you know, live data and your code reading too, but all scanners are going to have that, so we don't really care about going through that. Uh, instrument cluster. Uh, 
couple pages. This is so you can turn, you know, all segments. You can turn on your, your different lights. All that, all that sort of thing. I've personally found, I haven't seen much use for this. Um, the reason is because when you turn your key on, your instrument cluster should light up and ops check all of your indication. So I haven't really ever seen a reason to uh, individually activate different lights and stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's probably times that you would want to, but this does not have four-wheel drive, so I'm not even going to bother clicking on that because it's not going to be there. This is just a front-wheel drive. Rear defrost relay circuit and the horn control driver. That would be handy, you know, if your horn's not working. It's nice to be able to uh, make sure that the uh, module can command it to come on. All right, so that's it for this Ford Tribute. So with that, you guys have a good day.